Inside this car is Bushra Bibi, joining her husband, Imran Khan, behind bars. After they both received a sentence of 14 years in jail for corruption, the second conviction and harshest yet of the former prime minister. With just days to go before Pakistan's general election, which he's barred from competing in, some feel the timing cast doubt over the vote. The way one political party is being targeted and the way things are being managed, I don't think the 2024 election will deliver a credible result. I think it's all been dealt with in haste. This shouldn't have happened before the election. People should have been allowed to decide through their votes who they support and who they favor. Khan's corruption sentence comes just one day after he received a 10-year prison term for revealing state secrets. And it's unclear if he'll serve both concurrently. Asked by his opponents in 2022, the 71-year-old former cricket player and politician has been in jail since August and facing trial in numerous cases, which he vehemently argues are all politically motivated. With candidates from his party, Pakistan Tariq e Saf, now forced to run as independents, his lawyers believe the crackdown is a ruse to topple the populist leader. There's absolutely no trial of Imran Khan and the wife of Imran Khan. It's a sham exercise. For the last seven years, there are Tosha Khana cases, which are pending in the two high courts, Islamabad High Court and Lahore High Court. Those are pending in the same NAP court. Why justice rushed and justice crushed in the case of Imran Khan and his wife? As well as a fine of 787 million rupees, Khan and his wife have also been banned from holding any kind of public office for a decade.